I'm not a CPA, a financial advisor, a financial attorney. I'm none of those things. Therefore, everything I'm telling you right now is merely my opinion, and you should seek professional financial consultants before you do anything. Are we all clear on this? Yes. yes. Okay. So what I'm rendering to you this morning is merely my opinion, which I believe is very good. <laughs> How much in taxes will I pay for rolling a 401k into a Roth IRA? Okay, now I put this one in here because you all talk to clients who have 401ks. Some of them have 401ks with hundreds of thousands of dollars in them. Should they continue to grow wealth in that 401k or should they at some point roll it into a Roth where it can begin building tax free? My opinion, roll it. Here's the problem, and you need to write this down somewhere in your notes because it's not in the written text. Here's what you need to write down. You cannot roll a 401k that grew at your present place of employment. Okay? So for those of you that are building a, a 401k here with Secure Investment Corp, guess what? You cannot roll any of that money as long as you are an employee here at Secure Investment Corp. Can't roll it. Okay? It's basically locked in our 401k program. However, many of you have worked at other jobs, other employers, and you've developed 401ks there. And lo as long as you've not rolled them into our company sponsored 401k, you can roll those into self-directed IRAs. Okay? But you need to understand the tax implications of doing so. So I included this so you guys would understand kind of how this works. If you're looking to roll your traditional 401k into Roth IRA, the taxes you'll need to pay will be calculated based on your income. Please underline, will be calculated based on your income. There's a lot of opinions that it's a flat rate, it's based on um, capital gains tax, and if your capital gains tax is 38%, then you're gonna pay that in your rollover. That's not true, okay? The IRS uses the marginal tax bracket to decide your tax burden on the roll. Now, let's say you worked as an administrative assistant at your previous employer. You're unmarried and your annual salary was 65 grand after deductions, putting you squarely into the 22% tax bracket for tax year 2022. Now you've left your job and you're looking to roll your standard 401k plan into a Roth. You didn't work for your employer for very long, so the total amount in the account is just 12,000. As we noted above, this 12,000 was contributed pre-tax and any investment earnings have not yet been taxed either, which means you've never paid Uncle Sam his due for the entire amount. Since you'll be moving your current pre-tax account to a post-tax account, you'll need to pay taxes on that $12,000. The money you're rolling over isn't considered ordinary income, so you'll add that $12,000 to your $65,000 salary. This gives you a total taxable income of $77,000 for the year. Next page. The 22% tax bracket for 2022 extends all the way up to 89,000. So you'll pay 22% tax on that 12 grand. If the amount were large enough to push you into the next tax bracket, calculating how much you owe on the transferred amount would be trickier and costlier. To calculate how much you'll pay in taxes, multiply the total value of your account, 12,000, by your marginal tax bracket, 22%. In this case, you'll owe 2,640 in taxes when rolling your 401k to a Roth IRA. Payment of these taxes isn't immediately due. They'll be collected by the IRS when you file your taxes as usual. Although there is no mandatory withholding when rolling over your 401k account to a Roth IRA, you can ask your plan administrator enter into a voluntary withholding agreement. This means that the administrator withholds taxes during the rollover, eliminating the need for you to pay them during tax season.